Alright guys, what's up? In the last video, I didn't get to cover some important things about the new 2.2 version that I wanted to mention, so I'm just going to redo the video fairly quickly. Uh, so let's take a look at the new Scratch Live version 2.2. It's now out in public beta for you to download and try out. Uh, there are no new features in 2.2, so we don't have a whole lot to cover. However, there are a few important things that I want to take note of. Uh, first and foremost is the way Scratch Live stores its information. Now you should know by now in your music folder on your internal drive you had the Scratch Live folder which contained all your crates, subcrates, database file, your MIDI settings, FX settings, your recordings and all that good stuff. Now in 2.2 though it's going to change to this new underscore Serato underscore folder. And I'd recommend before installing 2.2 that you back up the Scratch Live folder in your music folder and on your external drives if you use an external drive to store your music as well you'll have the underscore scratch live underscore folders and so I recommend you back up those folders before installing 2.2 uh, a couple people have reported some issues in the conversion to the new Serato folder format so uh, if anything does go wrong you can just copy everything from the old scratch live folder to the new Serato folder or you can just rename the scratch live folder to underscore Serato underscore all right, so that is that. Uh, as I mentioned, there are no new features in Scratch Live 2.2, uh, at least worth mentioning. Just a lot of bug fixes and uh, uh, just a lot of bug fixes from the prior 2.1 and 2.0 versions that they wanted to get nailed down and iron out. Uh, some minor GUI fixes and whatnot. Uh, you can see the flashing deck indicators, which were red in the previous versions, are now white. And uh, you know, other than that, not a whole lot new in 2.2. However, if you have the SL3 or the Rain 68 mixer, there are now ASIO and Core Audio drivers for the SL3 and the 68. Now with the ASIO and Core Audio drivers, uh, ASIO being on a PC, Core Audio on a Mac, uh, with those drivers you'll be able to use the SL3 or the 68 as the sound card in other programs like Ableton Live, Tractor Pro, Virtual DJ, etc. Uh, most good DJ and production programs support ASIO and core audio drivers so uh, with those you'll be able to use the SL3 as a sound card in those programs also the thing that I didn't mention in the last video that I want to mention now is there are new drivers for the SL1 and the TTM57 now a lot of people have been reporting issues with those devices on newer Windows PC computers with i-series processors that is the core i3 the core i5 and the core i7 processors so the i-series processors a lot of people have been reporting uh, problems with the SL1 and the TTM57 with those uh, computers with those types of processors specifically problems with dropouts uh, and distortion and even total loss of audio so obviously that's not a good thing so there are new beta drivers for the SL1 and the 57 in 2.2 that will hopefully address the issue with the i-series processors. Now again, this is only for Windows PCs. Some of the newer Mac uh, MacBook Pros, they use the i5 or the i7 processor as well. I don't know if uh, that's even a problem on the Mac side, but it definitely is on the Windows side. So there are new drivers for the SL1 and the 57 to hopefully address those issues. And, uh, you know, other than that, that's pretty much it for 2.2. So just to recap, uh, the three main things in this version is, well, besides bug fixes, are the change to the new Serato or the underscore Serato underscore folder format for storing all your crates and database and all that good stuff. ASIO and Core Audio drivers for the SL3 in the Rain 68 mixer. Uh, I should mention there are no Core Audio drivers for the SL1. Uh, there are ASIO drivers, though, for the SL1 and have been for some time now and for the TTM57 as well. And lastly is the new drivers for the SL1 and the 57 to address the audio issues with Windows PC computers that had the i-series processors, the Core i5, the Core i3, or the Core i7. Uh, but there you go, that's my first look at Scratch Live version 2.2 out now for you to download and try out. Remember as always it is a beta version, uh, there's going to be problems and issues with it, bugs. Uh, so, if you find any, please post them on the Strato form in the 2.2 beta area. And as always, make sure you back up all your data and music and all that good stuff before installing 2.2. Uh, but there you go. So this is the first look at Serato Scratch Live 2.2 out now.